In this demo, I'll show you how to use GitHub Copilot within a simple Blazor project. And the cool thing about this is we'll get to see how Copilot can help us navigate a couple different contexts here, including C Sharp code, HTML, CSS, even some bootstrap elements. So the project I'm working on is a simple Blazor resume website, and this comes from the .NET Conf Student Zone demo. So on the right-hand side here is my resume page of my website. And there's three main sections so far. There's an about me, an experiences, and an education section. But I think every resume should include a list of your skills so you can showcase them to future employers, um, folks you're networking with, et cetera. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that in. And I've actually already included some of my skills data in the resume.json. So now I'm gonna go into the resume.razor file. I'm going to go down below the education section here. And on line 36, I'm going to prompt Copilot to help list my skills. I'm going to say list skills. And Copilot's given me the following suggestion. And this looks pretty good. It's following a very similar format to that of the previous education section. So I'm going to go ahead and accept that. But one thing I am noticing is it didn't include the closing div. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in for Copilot. And now it's suggesting that to me, which is perfect. Copilot, once again, isn't here to run the show. It's just here to be a pair programmer. And sometimes it doesn't do everything perfectly. So I'm going to save that. And as we can see on my resume page, my skills section is here. Another thing to notice is that the list skills comment is also included there. So I'm actually going to go ahead and delete that. Um, just help Copilot out a bit. But I'm still not seeing my skills being displayed. So I need to go in and add those. So I'm going to go into my skill.razor file. And I'm going to ask Copilot to help me list these skills. So I'm going to ask it to display my skill data. Display the skill data. And let's see what it comes up with. Okay, so it's giving me something pretty similar to what I want. Um, I'm going to see if there's any alternate suggestions, which would show up when I hover over that ghost text. Um, but I'm not seeing those, so I'm just going to hit tab. And I'm going to add in what I wanted to see here. So I'm going to say, estimated level. Perfect. So probably doesn't always do everything perfectly. So it's all good. I'm going to help it out. And also add in that closing div. Great. So now you can see the skills are displayed here on the right. Once again, that comment is also displayed, but I'll take care of that after I refine this a little bit because I want this to pop a bit more. So I'm going to have Copilot help me to uh, make these show up with a little bit more contrast to the background. And the way that I'm going to do that is to integrate a bootstrap card in here and make that pop. So I'm actually going to go ahead and delete this. And I'm now going to ask Copilot to display the skill information in a card in Bootstrap. Bootstrap. And this looks pretty promising. So I'm going to go ahead and Check if there's an alternate. Not seeing one, I'm going to accept this. Add in that closing div. Awesome. So it's given me those cards uh, in white. Unfortunately, that means that we can no longer see my skills again. So I'm going to further refine this and continue to get more and more specific with Copilot. One of the reasons I'm doing this is to show to you all that Copilot works best when it has very specific, clear instructions um, for the task that you want its help with. 
So I'm going to go back in. I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to give it some more specificity here. I'm going to say with a blue background and white text. All right, it's giving me the BG primary text white. This is looking pretty promising. I'm going to accept that and add in my closing div. All right, looking much better. But I'm going to go ahead and refine even further because I don't like the way that these uh, estimated skill levels are showing up in gray. So I'm going to go back in, um, refine what Copilot gave me. Wasn't perfect, but did a pretty good job. And I'm going to make that uh, no longer muted. Perfect. The final thing I'm going to do here is delete this comment so that it doesn't show up on my resume page. And there you go. I've got my resume. Copilot helped me to uh, edit it up a bit, give it a bit more contrast. There's definitely a lot more that could be done here, but I hope this was a helpful display on how Copilot can help assist in your Blazor projects.